welcome to python express guys i'm quite happy and excited to launch this platform this interactive platform that aims to teach you the fundamentals of python as you probably know as you, most of you probably know python is a massively popular programming language it has a wide support base it consists of experts as well as learners so whenever you have problems uh, solving python riddles these uh, this community can come handy this community can get you through in today's episode we will just use a very simple command to execute a python code so stay tuned today we will not be doing much we'll just uh, execute this print command you will know what it does pri and print then parenthesis opens then within quotes let's write you can write whatever you want by the way hello world i'm using this trinket platform it's in trinket.io you can use various other platforms also but for the sake of consistency i ask you while you are learning python through this channel i ask you to use the trinket and uh, all you need to have is an account a gmail account or hotmail account to open this uh, open an account in trinket and execute your python codes so I, what i did is i typed print then open the parenthesis then within double quotes i typed hello world and uh, let's run this uh, code you press this uh, button and what it does is execute this uh, code the print command prints what you typed within the parenthesis within the brackets those uh, strings are that text is within the double brackets you can just uh, this is just one example you can also try some other like hello my friend friends rather hello my friends let's say please subscribe to python express let's just uh, run this thing what i did is use the shortcut instead of uh, pointing the cursor at that play button i just uh, pressed control and the ctrl button I pressed uh, that control button and pressed enter and that executed this code it's a rather long one I have asked asked you to subscribe to uh, this uh, platform, this interactive Python learning platform. 
I, I have asked you to like our presentations and comment on our presentations so that in coming days we can improve our content and make it more interactive, make it more learner friendly. Let's, uh, let's uh, try a sort of command now. It's a rather long one. Let's say print What I, uh, what this uh, shortcut I told you to just uh, press so that you get that, uh, get whatever you wrote as a code that is control enter. See, the result appears on the right side of this trinket.io. Hello aliens in the outer space, how have you been doing? That is what I typed and that is what exactly I got. I typed these letters, these words within the parenthesis. But uh, when executing this code, the parenthesis is gone. That is what it does. It's a rather long command. So let's just uh, try for the sake of practice, uh, hello. Universe. Something is wrong. You see this? I forgot that uh, double quote. I forgot lose that double quote and it sued an error. Now what I do is press the control plus control and enter button and it executes. This is how you do it. You can even try it with uh, numbers, but they have to be within quotes. Let's try uh, one, two, three. Let's see what have you been doing? Let's see if it works. Yes, it worked. So this is about it. Now just a recap. Uh, you type this print. It has to be within small letters. And then you open the parenthesis. Then you have this, uh, you type the opening double quote and then you type the text, you type the numbers or whatever and then after completing your sentence or whatever split sentences, you have to just close it, close it with the, the inverted comma, you open the sentence or split sentences with an inverted comma and now you have to close it with an inverted comma as I have done and then uh, you open the parenthesis before writing those letters or numbers or special characters or whatever and then you have to close that parenthesis also. One more thing, you can just have these things like uh, you can type by opening a single quote also. You can do that, uh, it will uh, execute the code nonetheless. Hello world, that is what I typed. 
and then after completing that uh, uh, those words completing the sentence i just closed it with a single quote and then after uh, uh, i just closed the parenthesis also so let's see if it works or not with a single quote works instead of double quotes inverted commas let's uh, what was the shortcut key i just uh, recommended i just told you to use instead of pointing the cursor at that play button and just uh, pressing it that's control plus control and enter see it executes exactly what i wrote there uh, but it's the sentence is within single quotes you can of course use single quotes instead of double quotes but then i ask you for the sake of consistency to use the double quotes this is about it the first chapter of this fundamentals of python in python express i ask you all to subscribe to this channel to make it more interactive to comment on our presentation and give your feedback press that like button to just uh, so this overwhelming support for our initiative to be an interactive python learning platform thank you from the bottom of my heart for listening to this presentation keep watching keep supporting us thank you